What up, y'all? Vintage Cube Draft coming at you. Coming at you from the Vintage Cube Draft, uh, you know, thing. Gonna have to do one of these jobbies, though. That's not better, is it? What is this right here? What's it hitting? I gotta, I'll, I'll fix that. Hold on a second. There we go. All right. Welcome back. What are we taking here? Let's take Clothis. That seems pretty sweet. That's a cool card to start off with. None of these other cards are exciting, so... Katie asked me if I'm still streaming. So I'm like, I just started a third draft. Oh, I like our Rekindling Phoenix. That guy is juicy. J -j 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 juicy. Also, double devotion for red. Yeah, let's take Phoenix. Tracker is exciting, but not like in a new... This card is... <gasps> oh, gonna die. Not in a new sense, right? Like, this card's exciting because it's new and I want to try playing with it. <laughs> This is one of the four fat chickens. I think Chandra's just way too good. I would love to take Stomping Ground, but I think this Chandra just wins games. Oracle of Moldaya. Is that better than Hellkite or Coercive Portal? I don't know. I think Coercive Portal might be better than Oracle. Also, if Hellkite comes back, that'd be pretty sweet. I think we're just taking Coercive Portal. In a green-red deck, I feel like being able to draw cards is pretty, is pretty important. Plow Under is nice. Beanstalk Giant is probably fine. I think we're just going Plow Under. Plow Under real strong. Our deck is looking pretty sweet right now for, for some green red nonsense. Da, da, da. Thundermaw is a pretty fat chicken, too. I just heard a noise. It was pretty loud. It might have been the ice in Michael's drink, maybe, that he left in here. Oh, that's mine, actually. That's my drink. Wow. What a time to be alive. Lotus Cobra could be good. We could Obosh. No, we can't Obosh. We're not Oboshing. I think we're just Lotus Cobring. Ah, uh, Cultivate seems good here. Yeah, let's Cultivate. Lucka seems sweet, but also Devoted Druid seems sweet. I think Lucka's probably r much better, right? Hmm. Let's take Devil's Play. 
Um, burst lightning's fine. This deck actually seems... Oh, the stomping ground came back? Wow, so rewarded. Oh, Thunderball came back? Okay, so literally almost every card we wanted came back. I like a Johnny, and maybe we can play it? We got Lotus Cobra Cultivate. Gagums. Flame Tongue is actually pretty sweet. I actually like Flame Tongue a lot. Hmm. I don't think we're a natural order deck. <laughs> Vern Catacombs get Stomping Ground. TK will probably wheel. That's probably true. Natural order just feels good enough to take, right? Is there a progenitus in this queue? I'm going to take natural order. We're only two colors right now. I think the upside of natural order is just way higher. Wooded foothills? Okay. I'll take a wooded foothills. You got it. Spec on order does feel correct, I agree. Are you and Rob doing an M21 set review? Yes, I'm waiting for Rob to literally tell me when it works for him. I've asked him like four times. I have no idea how much how long how much longer the arena cube is up for. Um Yeah, this pack's pretty rough for us. <laughs> this has nothing good. Two black lands, unfortunately. Out of Carol Keep kind of sucks. I'd love a white land. I wish this was like Windswept Teeth or uh, Arid Mesa, which I think we've seen both of already. I guess it's just Abbott. Oh, God, it's so bad. Whatever. Cave Cup, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, uh, let's Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid Elf hitting, like, Clothis seems f pretty great. Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub, buddy. Thank you so much. Super Fritz with the gifted sub. I think... Oh, no, I saw that. I did see that. Because I mentioned Muffin Shorts.
bone crusher giant. That seems pretty good. That guy is solid. Avenger of Zendikar. Okay. I wonder if Anax is, is actually fine in this deck. Could just be Warm Power Stone too. Warm Power Stone on three. Eh. Oh, Fiery Confluence. All right, now we're talking. Uh no, I'm pretty sure you if you if you Blood Braid Alpha Note Bone Crusher Giant, you have to play the four three, which is good. Uh, I am fine with that. No, nope, Flame Tongue did come back. Okay. Legion War Boss, sure. Huh. Yeah, Hellrider's fine. Care four drops getting a little heavy. Natural order is not looking great here yet. We do want some more two drops. Interesting. So there's definitely I think we, we can get, like, if we took Kaza like we could actually cut like Thunder My Hellkite and Avenger, and then Lucka into this. I don't know if that's great though. I do really want like some cheap creatures here. We have Warm Coil Engine, which is pretty good. I also don't hate Xenagos or Plateau because we can get it with that and with uh, Wooded Foothills and play a Johnny. I'm going to take Warm Coil Engine. Sylvan Library is pretty ballin'. I'm going to take that. Yeah, Xenagos actually might come back. Oh, Taiga? All right, I'm game. The only thing we're losing here is like a braid, which actually might even come back since like, oh, Noble Hierarch, yes. Yes. is actually real good. Gilded Goose? I kind of like a Gilded Goose here. 
I also like actually Cold Steel Heart might even be better for our deck. I actually kind of like Cold Steel Heart better. But we can luck a Gilded Goose. Let's take a Goose here. Inferno Titan. Copper Line Gorge. Sneak Attack? I don't think we're a Sneak Attack deck, but that is an insanely late Sneak Attack. I think I'd rather just have the Fixing Land. Now our mana is very, very good. I mean, actually, there are quite a few good cards in here. Master's good. Xenagos is good. I think I like Xenagos here a little bit better. Eh, Flame Slash is fine. Man, the Abrade didn't come back. That's too bad. Empress Shieldbreaker is okay. Eh, I'll take Lightning Helix. Twenty-four, one cut. Fire Island, Bone Crusher Legion. This is the guy's going here. I think we can probably cut Warm Power Stone. Now that we have Gilded Goose, Noble Hierarch. Actually, Anax can probably go. I'm not super impressed with Anax. And course of uh Power Stone seems like it's a lot better now that we have Inferno Titan and Warm Coil. Mm. I also like Hex Drinker a lot. Why cut? I mean, I don't know. I am going to play more green just because we have more green early cards and Cultivate gets us there. Alright, this seems good.
Yeah, I don't think we want to go under 17 lands. Sorry, I'm actually... Hmm, so we're definitely killing this guy and playing Cultivate. That seems good, right? Um, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just actually Inferno Titan next turn. That seems pretty good. All right. The skin of the... What is even happening right now? Katie, my love, how are you, my dear? How's work going? Well, that's pretty good. I can actually... Actually, we can Chandra, negative three this, two this. Let's figure out what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. Alright. So we could four we can actually just kill this, right? This kills planeswalkers too, right? Yeah, alright, so we're just gonna negative four this thing. Could have actually dealt one more point, but we messed up. Eating my Lunchable. Wonderful. Love it. You're welcome. Uh, well, considering we have six mana on board, I think it's probably more important to keep the Chandra. Nothing? Three cards and nothing? Oh, that's interesting. Sure. I 
actually... We don't really need the Sylvan Library right now, so we can actually just put more pressure on the board. Are we going to counter this guy? Sure. Six percent vitamin C in a lunchable? That's wild. I would not have guessed that. One, two, three. Oh, they're going to flip this. Yes, I actually assume it would be from the Capri Sun. I bet if you check on the back of the Capri Sun, it'll say 6% vitamin C. And that would require... That would uh, not require, but uh, fulfill all of the vitamin C for the... Oh, we got a little Ashaya. It is an elemental. That's something. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you just... You just hit them flame tongues. Walrus is a favorite meal here? Oh my god, dude. Arctic Avenger, man. Your life is probably the best. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Attack you, attack you, attack you, attack Nissa. Mentor onto this guy. Alright, so they're dead next turn. I feel like they're probably not going to be able to come back from this. Well, no, they're not dead, I guess. <laughs> Katie, Katie wants me to show you her, her meal right now. Uh, okay, so this is her Capri Sun, or this is her Capri Sun, this is her Lunchable. This is her little crunch that came with her Lunchable. This is a, uh, an Otis Spunkmeyer chocolate chip muffin that she should probably not be eating, because it's not gluten-free. And this is her bottle of milk, <laughs> and then her water bottle. It's actually a very wholesome lunch. Or dinner? 1 a.m. meal? Oh yeah, it's all it's always the pizza ones. Literal always the pizza ones. That's a snack in disguise. That's true, it's all snacks. Alright, so Shardless Agent is... I mean, we saw two two decent Planeswalkers, right? We saw Vivian and the Nissa who flips. I don't think... I think our deck is good, though. There's a restaurant in Tokyo that I used to walk by frequently that served whale. The signs were all Japanese except for this taped up sign that said we only serve whale meat. Good lord. I actually really despise the Japanese whale and dolphin uh, trade, I guess you could say. It's pretty reprehensible. I think it's actually pretty fucking barbaric. So we can actually just play, I think we're playing Lotus Cobra here because then we get to play Portal next turn. 
They need to get that impossible whale. Wow. See, that's a solid, that's a solid meme. I could also Bloodbraid Elf. I don't think we'd hit anything great, though. I was literally thinking we could hit Cultivate, but... Yeah, the problem is, like, even if we Bloodbraid Elf, like, it's not getting past this idiot, so... Let's play this for now. This card's actually very hard for us to deal with. We have one burst lightning. <laughs> Fucking cool. Super cool, dude. <laughs> not sure you saw any artifacts or enchantments in game one, but why not have that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually pretty complicated. Wilford Brimmel Tusk. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yep, think we're probably dead. We need definitely to bring a flame slash now. Uh, Clothis does not gain two. It deals. Oh yeah, it does gain two. Wow, that's helpful. I think we might have enough mana to not have to like. I don't think we need like if we play this and we play a land, we get like seven mana, so we can play both. But I mean, I'm not super concerned with that. I feel like it's just Thunder Maul block here. <laughs> Doesn't feel great, but I'm not sure they'll have... I mean, if they remand this, then we're in bad shape, which they're probably going to do because they have two cards and two mana. So, yep, fucking course. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Yep, seems good. No cards in hand, we are at two. Seems bad. Go to four. Actually, that does keep us alive, surprisingly, especially with Noble Hierarch. I mean, if they get rid of a blocker, we take three, and they have one card in hand? Hmm. That's... Surprisingly not the worst. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Super fries, 88. What is this place? Y'all ain't food? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh man, super fries. Good seeing you, buddy. Okay, so we can Thunder Maw this. 
but that's going to take up one, two, three, four, five, six. Dang, we're one shy. Good old super fries. The hero we need. So they got a freebie here. That's frustrating because now we don't get to exile things, but where'd they get the land from? Like I'm pretty sure they drew this. Where like am I missing something? They had no cards in hand. They drew Vivian. Oh, they put it in with Jade Light Ranger. Yep, okay, that makes sense. I'm like, where did this come from? Because they went from zero planeswalkers to two planeswalkers, and that's fucking amazing. Wow, what an amazing series of draws. Wow, dude. Wait, where did this come from, though? They had no cards. They top decked Vivian, right? Oh, this was on top of their library. So they negative two Vivian, cast this from the top, searched for this. Wow. That's... That's amazing. I think we're dead here. We block here, we take one, two, three, four. Yep, that's game. Yep, seems good. Thank Let's bring you. in Flame Slash, take out Warren Power Stone. Oh, Spencer, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Always good seeing you, my man. Cave Cup, have a good night, buddy. And we'll just smell like this. You know what? This seems fine. We got Flame Slash for either a Fellows or a Questing Beast. Clothe this, followed by this. This could be good. Spencer, how you been, buddy? How's Seattle treating you? You were doing well until everyone died. You were doing well. It's true. Okay, so we're going to be Clothus in next turn. Followed by Phoenixen. Clothes into Phoenix. What more can you even ask for? Okay. 
Be sure to remand this. Oh, it just went. Oh, it just resolved. It just went right into play. Wild. Oh, that guy's got to go. One, two. One, two, three. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. But I really don't want you to have that much mana next turn, so. Oh, Cobra. I don't want to hold this because one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't do anything. We need to hit another land, actually. So we'll just play it. Yes. Red. Slash you. And slash him and pass him. That's what I always say. He's never said that before, ever. I've collected music gear, got laid off, and been eating tear gas. Fuck. Won't continue on the tear gas combo, though. Probably a great. Probably. Yeah, I figured this guy was coming down. Everybody knows that. Questing Beast is so dumb. Yeah, that guy's fine. They don't have a second blue for opposition, which is nice. Any land. It's not a land. But we can kill this guy. Or we can just get in there with... Get in there with chicken? That doesn't seem great. Oh, you mean like the hummingbird? Uh, I don't actually. We're on the we're on the beatdown. We can actually attack for for four. We can also shoot your face. I kind of want to kill this mystic, to be honest. It fills Clothis for two more turns, which is the same as shooting their face almost, because I don't think they're going to be able to get rid of Clothis. Got him. Maybe we didn't get him. What is this? What is this you're doing? Can call a court of calling? For two? Sure. God, they love scavenging news. Guess I'll take seven here. Sure. Land. Okay, still not a land. I think they're gonna exile in a response. Nobody knows. They did not. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Land would have been great. We could play either one of these six drops. Turn this on. And then we have a much different game. But now I'm just going to pass here because we don't really have great blocks. It's next week? What's next week? What are you saying right now?
It has become next week. Oh. <laughs> what I mean by that is it is next week. Right now. Oh, this is also annoying because like if we block here, they can just eat our rekindling phoenix. So I guess we block here. We probably should have attacked because we can just chump lock forever. I think I'm just taking four here. It's better than taking seven. And at least next turn we can plow under. It is Monday, my dudes. It was next week, 24 hours ago. Yeah, Sunday's the first day of the week, right? Not, not Monday. Well, they have six mana. Why would you play that after combat instead of, like, tapping my guy down? That is a weird choice. Don't really understand that, but okay. Come on, land. Not a land. Could have actually probably killed Scavenging Ooze. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I actually still feel kind of ahead here. Yeah, it goes Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. Cruising all week with you. <laughs> you know, he's right. That is how the happy days song goes. This is a solid draw, let's be honest. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. Where's all week for you? These days are almost in rain. Goodbye, gray skies, hello, blue. Nothing can hold me when I hold you. Nothing so right, I can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling, happy days. All right, so now, yes, R -r -r red. Inferno Tootsie Bootsies. We tap down this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? And then we attack for three. Pretty sure we just go one and two to the face. And that should kill them. Because they get to tap down to three biggest guys, and then they just lose to one, two, Okay, that was pretty good. Our deck is sweet! I have no respect for the term weekend. Like, the end of the week is capped on either side by Sunday and Saturday. Huh. Well, you know what they say. Keep this hand. It's a good curve. Mike's cup wisdom.
Oh man, I was really hoping for like a one drop so I could just murder it. So I could straight up murder it. Oh, this is getting mur oh, I can't even murder this. Oh my god. This is wild, dude. Land. Oh, Goblin War Legion Warboss actually seems pretty good here. Clothis doesn't actually do anything. Get in there, you little biscuit. Do your job. Oh, it's a chromatic lantern. Yep, wall blossoms. Do, 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 do. They didn't block? Oh, okay. We didn't go to blocks yet. I was like, that seems weird. Interesting. Dueling Clothuses. Uh, I kind of just want to play that. Or do I play 4-3? Let's play this guy. Harrowing journey into self-discovery. It might not be funny. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. I'm sure Lady Catherine will be in there. Unfortunately, guys, there's no one on the dog cam right now. It's completely empty. Is it going to be Hour of Devastation? That would be wild. That's basically the same thing. So they're just playing a more rampier version of our deck, so we can't actually fucking beat it. Especially when we miss... Uh, what turn is it? <laughs> Six. We miss three, three land drops. Super cool. Yep, I'm just going to concede, because I don't have an answer for an 8-8 in a red-green deck. <sighs> um, the boys are actually currently okay. Watson is laying right behind me. I wonder if I can. I wonder if you could see him if I move the curtain. No, he's like right, he's like literally right behind me here. You can see my hand. He's like right back here. Hey, Loki. Yeah, so if I actually moved the chair back, I would roll over him. Uh, yes, this is a keeper. This is a keeper Reno. If I go Lucka into Bloodbraid, it's actually pretty, pretty good. I should have brought one. You should have. You totally should have. 
Exile, what is this? Uh, Exile target creature control or a real card. It's a creature card with higher quarter mana cost. Okay, so we want to hit like. Is Mike B sleeping back there too? Um, God, I hope not. Mike B went to his own. He's under the desk in the trash can. That's true, yeah. After the stream's over, he crawls underneath the desk and goes into the trash can. Little known fact. I believe Mike's dog bed is off camera. That's true, yeah. Actually, Katie has enough dog beds that Michael could have several if he wanted them. Um, this is hilarious. We didn't hit a land, so we don't actually get to... <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. And I really have no desire to use our food, but because we have Lotus Cobra, any land lets us... Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <sighs> this game is the worst. Okay, that was fun. That was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh my god. We just weren't meant to win this match. That's literally what it comes down to. I just want to hit land land. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Get rid of Den Project. Oh, Rattleclaw Mystic. Sure. Oh my god, I'm just like so tilted off of this. We could have a Legion War boss in play, which would have been very, very good. Yep, sweet. 17 lands. Always be missing lands. I mean, theoretically, we could be making a food last turn and then make a food this turn, but then, like, they get to keep Rattleclaw and Elvish Mystic on board. And considering three mana doesn't do anything for us other than play Legion War Boss, it doesn't seem like the best play. Sure, that's fine. I mean, they're not really doing much. They've also missed a few land drops as well. So, land right now. Fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm just, like, absolutely just over it. Yep, just absolutely over it. Had this sweet plan. I mean, in this case, we either hit Inferno Titan, Thunder Maw Hellkite, uh, Worm Coil, or Avenger of Zendikar, all of which would be amazing. I'm sure there's going to be like a Cidic Slime. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, land. Never a land. Sure. <sighs> no blocks. This is insane. Eight turns, missed six fucking land drops. Like, <sighs> I'm just like, I have no desire to fucking just keep going when they're just amassing creatures with this. Cool, still not a land. Still not a land. Cool. 16 cards, 3 lands. Seems good. And we're playing against King of Pop. That's awkward. Awkward.
Well, as I won't be online when it's your birthday, because the holiday, I would like to have a birthday. Happy Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it, Zichi. I'm not going to use the ability here. When's my birthday? It is this, what is it, Friday? It is this Thursday. So I'll definitely be, uh, definitely be cubing. Wow, really? Get my Lotus Cobra? Wild. Joke's on me, I guess. We're just playing Wooded Foothills because, uh, the odds of us hitting seven mana without playing the Wooded Foothills is low. It's a good stomping ground. Oh wow, that resolved. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Next to I can cast both of those dudes. Or not if they get rid of this. Oblivion Ring or Banishing Light. Do, 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 do. Snapcaster into Council of Judgment. That's my guess. Urza? Okay. I don't care about that. What did we hit, actually? We hit, like, Worm Coiler Inferno Titan with this? Oh, that seems nuts. Because Thunder Maw is here and Avenger is here, right? So we're only hitting Worm Coil or, or Thunder Maw. Thunder. Thunder. Thunder Maw. Or not Thunder Maw. Inferno Titan. I don't know why I said Thunder Maw. Because it's late and there's a lot going on. That's why. Path to exile. Sure. Get another green. You got it. We got one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So actually we can go Avenger land. We still get to keep Thundermall over here. That's pretty cool. Oh. oh good oh goody oh goody yeah so now we're probably just going to play Thunder Maul hit Elspeth much as I love this, I want to hit Inferno Titan. Dang it. Cool. 
create a tutu. Just think, right now your body is slowly making more hair. That's a good point. Sure, you got it. Always yes and always yield. Mega two two. Man, death touch is a hell of a drug. Mole drifter's a cool dude. The plus one is juicy, but we have nothing to really use it on. We have no mana sinks, so, you know, Legion War Boss. That's a dude. Don't actually even want to play this, because if we play it, then they just get to, uh, gain six. Seems bad. Yeah, control magic really kind of sealed the deal for them. I think we're just blocking with three satyrs here. That seems like the best use of these three satyrs. And also I don't want to get rid of Avenger because I think that's a pretty sick engine. And uh, unfortunately they get the oh, they get the worms, but it's not a huge deal. Sure. Sure. Seems good. <laughs> That's not terrible. Let's get rid of Deathy. Them Sadie boys is at it again. I guess you're gonna get to eat Zenegos. Okay. I really hope they have nothing. Just put everybody in the red zone except for you. Three. Sure. Mentor onto a one one. I 
mean, they get mentor, they get a worm coil it back again, which is pretty frustrating. And it becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's pretty brutal. Oh, okay, I can also get back Elspeth's son's champion, but that seems terrible. They're getting back Urza? Oh, is it not any graveyard? Oh, it's your graveyard. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's... So they get one hit off Urza. They hit an island, so they get one more hit. Not bad. And this should determine whether they lose the game or not. That's not going to do it. All right. <laughs> that's... Yeah, Inferno Titan's a hell of a drug. God, I really wish we had an answer for an enchantment. Control Magic beat us this game. Opposition beat us last game. Like, it's it's real important to have. I mean, maybe Primal Command's good enough to put in because of that. Flame Slash better than Burst Lightning? Maybe. We saw Urza. Burst Lightning does hit, like... Actually, Hellrider doesn't seem that bad either. We haven't seen Fiery Confluence yet. I have something like this. We can also bring in Hexdrinker. I actually like Hexdrinker a lot too. I'm taking out Warm Power Stone for Hexdrinker. I don't know if it went in. We'll see. Sand is kind of slow. Ugh. Four, five, and six. I'm going to keep it. I think it's all right. Oh, another six drop. I mean, Lotus Cobra next turn would be great. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, six drops, seven drops. I've been my draws. And another artifact we can't really deal with. I'm just bringing Embreath Shield Breaker in next. Okay, that's fine. You can have Maze of Ith. I don't care about that. It's annoying, but not a deal breaker. <sighs> sure. What if chicken and what if chicken and the chicken just wins the game? I see you are hitting them. What does that mean? Okay, for sure. So next turn we just have to we get worm coil and inferno titan. Well, not and I guess. Uh, you can have planes. Oh, Flame Slash. Hmm. I think we're just playing Thunder Maw, killing Urza. Do you think we can play uh do you think we can play Thunder Maw fast enough that they don't actually Oh, they didn't do it. They didn't go for it. Four, 
Flame Slash doing Lord's work. Two fat chickens can walk down that street. What street? What are you talking about? You sound like a crazy person. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Dog cam. We got a little Watson. What a precious little angel. Oh my god, my son. <laughs> He's having a good time. My little biscuit. Watson, what are you doing? I see you. He's being a little gentleman. Cool. Super, super cool. Control magic every game. Love it. Absolutely love it. You said dog cam. My head snapped around from job applications to witness it. Love it. That's old Watson. Oh, he moved. Okay, I guess I'll attack Gidgen. I really want to put this on top of their library <laughs> and then shuffle it in I guess but then don't we die to Gideon no because I guess this guy would be untapped oh this is this is rough Attack Gideon. One, two. So, so we can play Flame Tongue Kavu and like. Okay. Yeah, now we can jump block with Flame Tongue Kavu if they want to come at us with Gideon. They have five cards in hand. <laughs> Pretty good. Let me guess. Crypto Command, tap my team. Put a card you own into your hand. They put an island into their hand. Sure. Okay. Sure. Seems good. <sighs> Shield Breaker definitely seems decent. Yeah, Legion War Boss seems kind of meh. I 
I also don't think I love plow under. I don't think we're fast enough to be plow plowing undering them. Plowing undering them. Let's bring burst lightning back because they have a lot of planeswalkers. Still got Watson up here. <laughs> How you doing, little bud? Doing good, boy. Watson, what are you doing? What are you doing, cutie? Okay. I also don't hear either of the other dogs, so I'm pretty sure they're both sleepy as well. Oh, Grim Monolith. Let's kill that and deal you four. Thunder my Hellkite into some kind of six drop. Let's make it happen. Well, this is not looking good. ready for a nap with mama in the morning mama ain't gonna be home for like seven hours so I don't, i'm not sure if he's gonna be waiting it out here comes elspeth karn sure make a con maybe make a karn struct oh interesting um well blessed alliance at least we get to choose doesn't matter because we've drawn two spells and nine lands so that's cool <sighs> good lord oh he left all right he gone uh give you a planes i guess because i do know of three uh Three, I, three blue mana cards. I don't know many three white mana cards in the queue, other than like Banalish Marshall, if he's even in here. All right, well, I want to chalk this loss up to a uh, the old 9-2, so unfortunately. Be sure to follow and subscribe on Twitch or YouTube. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Uh, you can check out manatriggers.com. If you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, if you use the promo code RATTRAIN and the link below. So be sure to check them out. They have an awesome service. A lot of people in the chat swear by it. And uh, they're very popular. They also have a uh, Mana Trader series going on right now, so you guys can compete. Uh, I believe it's going to be Pioneer and maybe some other formats. And uh, you can find all that information on ManaTraders.com. It's in one of the tabs on the top of the page. You can also check me out at Patreon.com slash It's a great way to help out for $1 or $2 a month. It's like a super small commitment for you guys. If you guys don't want to spend the $5 on Twitch to support the channel, $1 or $2 a month is a great way to support on Patreon. And also, uh, check out Freshly Brewed. It's the podcast Rob and I are doing on Cultivate. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, more lands. 
More lands. Hooray, all the lands. Loving it. Loving it. Don't care. Red, sure. Nope. <sighs> One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Out of the 14 cards we have, 11 of them are lands. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, 11 lands. Seems good. Oh, so they're gonna play. Uh, they're gonna play Mana Leak. And we're gonna feel real silly for not having played one of these four lands. And they're still gonna play one now because. If you attach a GoPro to his head, you're not seeing Lil' Man. You're just seeing what Lil' Man sees. Which is not really the same, I don't think. Yep. Man, I wish I had that fiery confluence again. Jesus. How is this real, dude? Negate. What are your six cards? You gotta negate this, right? It's one of my three spells I've played this game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more land. One of the other six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seems good. Yeah, you'd like the little man virtual experience up until he starts licking his butthole, and then you'd be like, Alright, I've seen enough. Let's turn it off. Okay, you got it, man. Must be nice. Oh man, you really, you really just, you're just beating a handicapped person. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.